Welcome to the biggest race in sim racing history. It's the World Cup, the Tour de France, or the Monaco Grand Prix. It's the one that everyone wants to win. So you're absolutely right. It is two laps of special stage Rutex on Gran Turismo Sport in N400 cars. So you join us in qualifying then, and it is all kicking off. So no one wants to be the first car to start their, um, their flying lap. Everyone wants to be right at the back of the pack to get as much benefit of a slipstream as possible. And it's getting a bit ridiculous here. We're down to 25 miles an hour. Uh, but eventually, someone does start to bolt and then everyone starts following suit. And very quickly, as we get into the final corner, before the start of the lap then, it becomes very strung out in single file. And fortunately, we are right at the back of the pack here. So as long as we can stay within slipstream range, we should be on for a good lap. So we've ended up right behind uh, the Brit here up ahead in the VW Golf. Most drivers in this race are going to be using the uh, Porsche 911, but we are in the yeah, which we are in as well. Uh, but we're following the Golf here, so you can see that I was very unsighted with that car at the back. So we decided to change our view to a little bit higher up on the, on the roof cam here, and we crossed the line there to finish our qualifying lap. And we've done pretty well. We've qualified in second place, so that's going to give us a really, really great position to start the race from, and hopefully we can hold off any attacks from behind and see what we can do. So start of the race then, and you can see the Porsche has a much better acceleration than the Golf. So we're gonna go for the lead of the race straight away here then. And at this point, what you want to happen is that everyone lines up behind you at the front of the pack and bump drafts you along. But you'll see here that as we get into first place, we suddenly look down to the right hand side at our radar, and we can see another train is starting to form. So that's not good for us. We wanna be at the front of the train if possible, but you can see here, this train led by Key25 does have a bit more momentum than our train has at the moment, and they look as if they're gonna be taking the lead of the race. So it's very important now that we jump ship and try to get in that train as quickly as possible, because otherwise we could very quickly find ourselves right down in last place. Fortunately, there's a little gap here between fifth and seventh, so we've been able to slot in straight into sixth place. So. Not losing the slipstream then, it, the slipstream settings are on weak, so you have a second and a half before you end up outside of that slipstream range. Going into the first corner then, <laughs> the first corner already after uh, over a minute of racing, and you can see here, the high line seems to be the best line around the corner. Coming out of the corner then, you can see two cars have moved to the right side to maybe start to form their own train, but we don't want to be part of that. And we've managed to gain one position then with the Monaco driver falling back slightly on the inside line there. So that's worked out in our favor, and we're now up to fifth place. So just fast forward in a little bit here, down the back straight, and at this point of the race, in a straight line, everyone is just going to be bump drafting each other. It's completely strung out in single file, and yet yeah, there's, <laughs> there's no way you can start to overtake when the whole field is like this. So this race is very much like cycling. If you've ever watched um, any Tour de France on the flat stages, or, or even sort of velodrome cycling, it's very, very similar, with everyone staying in each other's slipstream and essentially waiting right until the end to make their move. So coming into turn two then, <laughs> as we cross the line to start the final lap of the race, this long straight has a bit of a hill section and then a bit of a downhill as well. And as we get towards the end of the straight, we can start to see that behind us, a second train is beginning to form. So we just need to make sure we carry on working with the leaders. We can see there as we look behind, there is another train starting to form. Uh, we really, really don't want to let that train have any momentum. It does look like it is a few car places back. And as long as the first sort of seven or eight drivers are working together, then we should be okay. But you can see here the Golf has moved to the inside line for turn number three. And you can see on the radar, there's a lot of cars following him through. So it's gonna be close as to whether or not they can push him through into the lead of the race. But it is quicker having the high line through the corners. You get more of a bank going through the bank corner and this gives you an advantage, especially on the exit of the corner. You can just carry more speed through the corner and take more speed onto the back straight. So we've been able to hold onto our position there and we've moved up another position into fourth place as we get onto the back straight then. So just one corner remains. And this race is, is weirdly easy, 
but weirdly hard at the same time. So there's not an awful lot of skill involved. It's very much down to luck as to where you uh, where you end up and you know where you qualify as well. But you know you have to hold your nerve through these corners because it's very very tricky. So coming towards the final corner, then you can see there's a number of different trains starting to form now, and they're all kind of just behind us. So we're sitting pretty here from sort of fifth, sixth place backwards, they're all starting to jostle for position. But where we are in fourth place, it seems like we're in a very, very good position here, but it's gonna be very hard to make up any more places. So we're just gonna to have to keep bumping, bump drafting the drivers up ahead and see who decides to make a move first. So hopefully second or third place will pull out of Key's slipstream and try to go for a move. And we just need to follow one of them. So we're gonna to move to the inside, I think, then here. And you can see Surveys up ahead. He moves to the inside, and the Belgian behind him is following. We're gonna move right over to the right-hand side. Can we get any positions? No, unfortunately, we are stuck in fourth place, less than one-tenth behind the leader. So that was a super, super close race. It was, surprisingly, um, not as chaotic as I thought it might be. So. I've done this race before and there has been plenty of death, but unfortunately, uh, I should say, we got through that one without any drama. So fourth place is not a bad result at all. And we've earned ourselves a nice 311 points to start off our FIA season. So this was round five, five more rounds to go. This was our first entry, so we do need to complete another two rounds, I believe, before the 10 rounds are up to get a decent score on the board. So thanks once again for watching guys, as always give the video a like if you have enjoyed it and feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you again soon.